On this episode of Special Report, we head to the north central state of Kwara, where the immediate past managing director of the Bank of Industry, Dr. Wahid Lagunju, and his wife, Mrs. Mubalaji, were decorated as the Are Baba Gunwa by the Olof Falfofa. And there was a well attended pre investiture lecture titled Mobilizing Popular Participation for the Emergence of Ofa Tutun, which was delivered by erudite scholar Professor Akin Yobode. And that lecture is part of our major focus on the program. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jeffrey Uzongo. The headquarters of Ofa, local government area of Kwara State, not central Nigeria. An ancient town and second largest city in the state, the people here are very enterprising and engage in agriculture with a reputation for being the home of sweet potatoes. Ofa was founded by Olalomi Lofa Gangang around 1395 by a crown prince from Oyo and a direct descendant of King Oromio in Ileife. The town is the home of the legendary Moremi, who was believed to be responsible for the defeat of the frequent Maruders who raided Ife, an ancient town and cradle of the Yoruba race. The praise name of Ofa is Ijakadi Loro Ofa, a Yoruba phrase meaning wrestling is our game. The city's mascot is peacock, which is one of the most prominent exotic avian species in the region. There have been 23 kings in Ofa before the reign of the present monarch, the Olofa of Ofa. Oba Muftao Mohammed Badamosi Okikiola Esuwoye II. The event is historic and will remain indelible in the minds of not just the people of Ofa and Kwara State, but all in attendance. Many records were set at the investiture of the former acting managing director, CEO of the Bank of Industry, Dr. Wahid Olagunju, as the Are Bobagunwa Fofa, and his wife, Hajia Mobolaji Olagunju, as the Yeye Are Bobagunwa. The ancient city of Ofa played host to thousands of dignitaries within and outside Nigeria. Observers of the Ofa royalty say it was the first time a coronation in the historic town will attract such attention. <laughs> The three-day ceremony started with a pre-investiture lecture titled Mobilizing Popular Participation for the Emergence of the New Offer and was delivered by erudite scholar Professor Akio Yobode, the special guest of honor and Deputy Governor of Kwara State. Mr. Kayode Alabi appreciated Dr. Lagunju's remarkable contribution to national and community development in the last 40 years. We are able to rejoice with Dr. Wahid Olagunju and Mr. Nigeria and Kwara as well as the son of Ofa, for the world is self honor, the son of him and his best heart. Bringing all his wealth of experience, academic attainments, and impactful career to bear in private and public sector, Dr. White Lagoon deserves the honor of Ari Papagua of Ofa. This is with serious emphasis on his meritorious services and his print track career in broadcasting and banking and in various capacity for more than 40 years. These huge contributions to national developments coming from our own Dr. Lagunju is widely acknowledged by all and sundry particular development partners and their noble population in this country. By all accounts, Dr. White Lagunju stands out as one of the Nigerian world leaders watch of revolution by the up and coming generation. He is well educated with a rich service and career in Bank of Industry. On his retirement as Bank of Industry acting MD, he has facilitated employment and access to Bank of Industry's facilities to develop so many entrepreneurs across the nation, of parents and of our people in particular. The world class sportscaster with national and international exposure, on his retirement in Bank of Industry, with which exposure in meetings of the meetings of IMF, World Bank, with international exposure to his service. 
no doubt they are served in different capacities. In the light of this of common contribution to the national development, the history of the establishment of Bank of Industry in prior states cannot be completed without the effort of Dr. Olakuju and other benefits coming from the Bank of Idea States. And here at home, the prior state government is pleased with this because of, of our self help aspiration, can I just say now. The community has been renowned for its, its position as an enterprising development partner of the state government. Because of offer, because as offer makes the government strides that it possibly impacts the states of the town and those of neighboring communities, whilst it's also being developed, that we have to agree on that. Our issue was coined by your offer to escapulate having a vision for the economic and social transformation of offer. This historic event should contribute, mobilize the people of offer to redouble the efforts towards ensuring that offer attains development aspiration that I understand have been aligned with the 17 sustainable development goals, SDGs. And the expectation is that the outcome of this gathering would help find soon of a 10-year economic development blueprint has been finalized by the Ofanisena Union through its Economic Development Committee. Professor Yebode and other speakers believe that Olagunju's inauguration has redefined chieftaincy institution being the first to introduce intellectual component in chieftain's investiture. In according recognition to those among us who have ended and two diligent searches for those worthy of accolades and celebration. More important, as our people say, the reward of hard work is more work. It is against this background that we are gathered here to facilitate with one of the finest of our families, whose son is soon to be accorded uh, the title of Are Obagua, and his spouse, Ayiji Are Obagua. Anyone who has been privileged to interact with Wahi Dodakuju will attest to the fact that he is indeed an Omolua. His demeanor and outlook bespeak the best in upbringing and interpersonal relationship, well cultured and respectful living. His sound educational background makes him well suited for a multiplicity of roles and ability to succeed in the most unlikely of functions. But I'm telling you sincerely. The job that uh, Wahid and his friends have put out for them is a big one to transform uh, offer from, uh, shall I say, uh, well, it's urban, but not totally so. Offer already has a name and reputation in Yoruba. So, but what it now wants to do is to match whatever we have in the rest of Nigeria as a smart city. Indeed, we will be transformed into a smart city in our life. We need to encourage men and women of knowledge, provide incentives for them, motivate them. And once a day, I want to congratulate the KBAC, and through KBAC, the Arepo Bakua and the Ebo Bakua, for the well deserved chieftaincy uh, title. And uh, more importantly for me, for giving men and women of knowledge their pride of place in the scheme of orientation and mission for development. We are talking about greater offer. And we are talking about those seven skills. And those seven skills will assist us in turning offer into what is called knowledge economy based offer teacher. If you still go the usual way, the other will talk which is of resource based, resource based, 
because most of my people like 2014, not in the country, you know, this structure more this year. But when it is about knowledge, of all no land, sir, of all no land, yeah. And it didn't get much into the play store. It's about knowledge. It's about us. You just download and you pay. And we are going to be looking at three major things in the next few days or months at Summit to that financial technology, mass communication, and computer science. And you can see drone flying around. So for us to achieve greater offer and offer to our skills made in the ocean. Can we quickly go over them as summary? Number one. History, heritage, and history, heritage, and storytelling. If you touch any that you go over it, if we learn and for tea of our to my entail me, we must have knowledge of everything. In his closing remarks, the lawfare of Ofa, Oba Muftao Badamasi said his ability to unite his people has continued to propel the social economic transformation of Ofa as he envisioned in his vision for the new Ofa. The concept of uh, Ofa Toto was uh, put in place immediately I ascended the throne of my forefather. Just barely about two, three months, I went to the palace. I asked them, how can I come all the way from Lagos and be sleeping in this kind of a place in the name of all of our family? So I have to rebuild it and, uh, to be in a comfortable place. Uh, after about four or five days, I get a friend of mine who is an architect, an indigenous person. He told me what to do. I said, get a bulldozer and first of all, demolish all you see here. Then we will not know where to start. So people came to meet me. I said, ah, that is Kilodeki, I said, whoa. I said, ah, Monoko will be fitting. I said, no, you can be using it as an office. Since you have a befitting house, then in the morning you come here. In the evening you go back to your house. I said, no. And that is where you have the concept of our total. I said, this is of our total. My office and my house have to be here. So, that is how of our total started. I thank all the discussions, but uh, I don't know, maybe my level of understanding, but what all the discussions feel to make the garden know about what of a total is or what it entails is the unity. When there is no unity, you cannot get anything to do. Unity. They have to be unity. So when I come on board, I met a town that was divided. I cannot know how many places. I have to first of all mend it. When I mend two, three portion, I said, with the palace that I'm building, I said, do you know everybody, this is of a total. It is better you join the train now or you will run and you will not meet up because I will keep moving. And today, if uh, our man from Ikurudu, the prof and uh, Professor Ibo Adeo, if you have been here for the uh, last seven or six years, and you come here today, it will be, it will be seeing something totally different. And uh, that is what I believe to be offered to do the new offer. Like, uh, the prof said, we have a long way to go. But, uh, you see, something when we say of our total, we cannot get the total in it today and today. It, it has to start from somewhere. That is why I appreciate all your points, and uh, I note them all. 
Inshallah, just like you rightly said, it, it might not get to the peak during my period, but I know I've started it. And Inshallah, if God give us age, like you prayed, I think I should get to 80 or 85 percent of what I want to achieve in this town. The three-day chieftaincy coronation reached its high point with the conferment of the traditional titles on the Lagoon Jews. Very early, thousands of Ofa indigents thronged the Alofa's palace, along with eminent personalities from all walks of life. <laughs> His contribution, however, did not go unnoticed by the President, Mohamed Buhari, in his congratulatory message as read by veteran broadcaster, Sene Orwell Brown. President Buhari congratulates Dr. Wahid Oladunju on his investiture as Are Ubagunwa of Ofa Kingdom. President Muhammad Buhari joins family friends and associates of former acting managing director, chief executive officer, Bank of Industry, BOI, Dr. Wahid Abiodun Olagunju, on his investiture as Are Wabagungwa of Ofa Kingdom, in recognition of his contributions to national and community development. The president notes the upwardly mobile career of the technocrat at the BOI, spanning more than 29 years, where he served diligently and held so many positions and distinguished himself in selflessness, sacrifice, and most significantly, promoting values of diversity, unity, and charity in working for the improvement of small, medium-scale enterprises, which serve as a live wire of economies. President Buhari also congratulates Dr. Mubolaji Olagunju, Wahid's wife, on her investiture as Yeye Are Bubagunwa of Ofa Kingdom, rejoicing with the family on the double honor. The president prays that the Almighty God will protect the family and provide greater opportunities for service to the country and humanity. The Royal Majesty. Ace broadcaster Sarah Stober read the Are Bubagunwa citation. While that of the Ye Ye Are was read by Moji Makonjola, so the special advisor to the President on Ease of Doing Business, Dr. Jumake Oduwale, represented the Vice President, Professor Yemir Shibajo. I had that with you. We worked so well together, and we're truly proud of you. And great to see you blossoming and not tired in retirement uh, with your beautiful family. <laughs> The guest, however, got more than the bargain for from King Sonia Day, who put up a six-hour non-stop thriller, which was converted into a world-class musical concert that turned the guests into spectators as they watched the exhilarating performance of the 75-year-old Juju celebrity. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed at the level of, of appreciation, at the national level, at the state level, and at the community level. Having the president congratulate me and commending me and recognizing my efforts, and then having the Kwarate government also coming fully to support what we are doing in Ofa. And then the KBAC himself, I need to thank him for um, identifying um, with our development aspirations. Because he's the visioner of Opatusu. And uh, I've spent all, I mean, most part of my 40 year train track career being a development practitioner. First as a development communication specialist, then before I became a development banker. So 
my vision, my, my, my activities are in sync with the KBSC's vision. So what we are trying to do is to work hard to ensure that we are able to transform Ofa socially and economically into a smart city over the next uh, 10 years. Definitely, when you are honored by your people, you are motivated automatically. And I'm happy, I'll do my best for the people of Ofa at all times. Any honor, any chief chancellor title, is only as valuable as the reputation and the integrity of the giver. In this case, the offer kingdom. And in fact, His Royal Majesty's, uh, High Maj uh, His, uh, Majesty of uh, Mufutao uh, Balamosi. When you look at offer itself, offer kingdom has a major role to play in the Yoruba history. Of our kingdom has produced so many illustrious daughters and sons for this nation. And when you see what they are doing, I was so impressed to see that this Israel Majesty has actually has a tenure, his vision is economic and social transformation of our, of our kingdom. And they do have a 10 year economic development plan to transform Ofa in terms of economically and socially. When you get your honor from an award, chief chancellor from such an authority, you must regard it and respect it. Then you look at it from the point of the giver, from the point of the receiver. And this particular case, Dr. Wahid Olagunju and his wife, Ajia Mubala, Mubalaji Olagunju. Now, I have been privileged to know Wahid for a number of years now. He worked closely with me when I was uh, the Minister of Finance, and he worked directly with me when I was Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment. In fact, it was during my tenure that he became an Executive Director at BOI and also became an acting uh, CEO of BOI for the first time. Throughout that period, I found him to be a remarkable, unique, talented, hard-working human being. The sort of person you would like to have in your team. You know, when you have a team as a leader, you're only as good as your team. And Wahid was a major part of that team. You know, anything assignment he has, you can go to bed, it's done. And I have followed what he has done and what they have done in Offa Kingdom. For example, I told you about the 10-year development plan, economic development plan. Wahid is the head of the Economic Development Committee of, of our Descendants Union. Wahid belongs to two, and under of our Development Union, they have just built an ultra-modern medical center in Offa. It also belongs to another club, the Metropolitan Club here in Offa. They are building um, the industrial, in fact, the, the industrial park. In fact, I think it's the of our union that is building the industrial park and the other, the medical center. This industrial park, they've just commissioned it, the, the first hub, which is the ICT hub. Now, if every locality in this country, every main town, can have that sort of vision of the all of her, and the sort of team, these illustrious sons and daughters of Ofa, that are doing, are contributing to this, the country will grow, we, 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 our economic issues will be resolved. We cannot wait for the government alone to do this. Like, Nigeria is too big for that. We cannot wait for the state governors to do this alone, or for is something unique and special which others should learn and emulate. It's With the coronation done with, of our indigenous home and abroad should come together and keep the flag flying higher in developing the ancient city in all ramification. And that's it on this episode of the program. Thanks for your time. And of course, your usual company, I'm Jeffrey Uzama.